On today's episode of Modern Living TV, we are going to focus on one particular area where we all spend a substantial amount of time for at least uh, five days a week. Definitely. And whether it's an office cubicle or a corner in your home, the state of your workplace can actually affect your attitude mm -hmm. and even your output. That's why it's very important to keep it neat and organized, but always in style. Mm -hmm. I'm Bianca Gonzalez Intal. And I'm Stephanie Zabiri Crespi. Let's get some work done in your workspace! Deadlines, meetings, files, isn't that what an office is all about? Well, not entirely. Your office space should also be a place where you can get inspired and spark creativity, just like this one we're about to see. Your office is a space that should allow you to work and bring out the creativity in you. Oh, I love your space. Every time I come, I stay a long time and <laughs> we chat, right? Okay, how long have you been here in this space? Um, I've been here for three years. Okay, yes. And how did you, did you have a concept in mind when you were designing? My first showroom was at home. Okay. So I thought that, you know, uh, I wanted to have a showroom that has a homey feel. Yes. It just didn't work out at home because I have kids. Yeah, it's hard and to separate. You want to separate that work and personal life, yes, right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. But I like the homey vibe. Yeah. So, the showroom has like, you know, a bit of that mm -hmm. and then I have my office space here also, my workroom. Were there things that were important for you when you were creating the space that, that you really needed or that, you know? Um, I really wanted to divide it into three, like okay. uh, um, the showroom, then the receiving room, and then my work desk. Joyce works with different kinds of stones from small to big and rough to smooth. So it's very important to have everything organized. So your desk, right? Obviously as a creative, but you still need some structure, right? You, you yeah. need to find a place to this. How do you organize your workspace? I like working with my stones. Yeah. Like, I like having them on my desk mm -hmm. so that I see all the colors. And, but I make sure that they're organized and um, I make sure there's enough space for sketching. Is there anything that you can't have in your office? I can't have color in my room. Really? Yes, in my workroom. So it's all like almost black and white. white. Mm -hmm. So the Why colors are all... Because it, I, it makes me more creative to, to just have a black, you know, like white area. Can you tell me a bit about the pieces you chose here and your style in general? Well, I made the walls light blue. Mm -hmm. So that it, you know, has a cool and homey feel. Yeah. I have a lot of elements that we have in the receiving room are from our home, so that it has our signature style. Joyce changes and moves her displays every once in a while to have a variation of energy and especially to showcase new collections. What about um, having clients here or or even doing really business? Stuff. What's important yeah. for you, like your meetings, and yeah. as opposed to just showing clients your products? It's so easy because we're located near a commercial area. This is just right across the So location's Greenbelt. important. Location is very important. Mm -hmm. And it's also nice that this is a we're in a residential building. So we have a little kitchen yeah. and we're able to serve tea and coffee and some, you know, pika pika yeah. when we have clients nice. and we have meetings. Joyce is no ordinary jewelry designer. She makes statement and unique pieces using semi-precious stones. Her office is eclectic with no particular style, but at the end, everything seems to fit together as one beautiful space. This is a favorite piece. This piece is by Lee Raimi. He's very like, well-known now. Yes, yeah. yeah. He's a friend. And well, that painting over there is uh -huh. by me. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Nice. <laughs> And then the chandelier, you find it in more special. Yeah, it's from an antique store. Mm -hmm. It's uh, apparently Italian, old Italian. Really 
pretty. So all of, a lot of these things you've had in your in your home. In yeah. Your home. yeah. Mezoma Kitalo's creative mind is Joyce, but the business side is managed by her husband. Here's the work area, the creative space. Okay, so yeah, you said like it's all neutral, so you don't yeah. want to have any color. Actually, it's funny, in my office I can't have red. I don't want to see anything red. Yeah, as your face. Yeah, because red is like, it's out. No? Yeah, and it, it signals emergency. Like you sketch here, and yeah, this is my desk. As you can see, it's really long. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. you need to spread out. Right? Yeah, yes, yes. And then what do you do? You like these are large stones. Yeah, these are the bigger ones, mm -hmm. and these are the smaller, more delicate ones. But the the, uh, the rest are in the rock cabinet. Your office space doesn't have to be extravagant. Just remember the basics, keep it functional, and let it reflect your personal style. Like we've just seen here at Maison Maquetala, your workspace is not just about function, so don't be afraid to also let your personality shine through. After all, your office may also be considered your second home.